not know what we are going to load. That's true, but we are inside the main menu screen, so now we we do know what we're going to load here. We delete that. Content manager. Add the using content. So you go to screen manager dot con dot game dot content. In the next screen system, it's available to download now for premium members. But you can just do screen manager dot content for the screen man screen system version two. Sprite font is equal to content load sprite font and we need to pass the asset name of our sprite font which we have added at the beginning of the tutorial now it seems like a year ago by now so that's the asset name and when we unload content the menu screen takes over for that and it unloads the sprite font alright one more thing override that's what we want to do when the screen is removed so when it's removed base dot remove and let's before that let's just set menu after that let's set menu entries dot clear this just removes every object inside the menu entries list okay we're almost done. Now for the menu select, I like to, for the basic way, I like to use switch and case. If you do not like switch and case, you can just use if and else. If, else, if, else, if, else, if, else, if, else for as many different entries as you have. Or you can just use switch case. Switch the selected int which is passed to this method case zero and if you're not familiar with switch case it's like if else so if selected is equal to zero which means we have selected the very first menu entry remember this is an array so the first one is zero so if we select the very first menu entry it's the start game and no matter what we do, we want to exit the screen. So if case at zero, we select the very first screen manager that add screen new play screen. And we need to add a break here. Break just escapes. Case dot one, we select the second menu entry, which is the exit. And that does nothing, so we can just remove that if we want. Or if you like to have that, just add exit screen to each case. Now if it's cancel, exit screen. Okay, so now let's take a look at it. Well, let's go to game1.cs. Alright, let's go to. The, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to remove the logo screen. Alright, so we have a very large bubble effect, so that's something going on here, and that's due to the size of the font. So let's decrease this to about 18 or so. And we can worry about the other bubble effect inside of the menu screen itself. And the reason it's that large is because it's not 0 0.5, it's 0 0.05. So float scale is equal to is selected question mark 1 plus pulse times 0 0.05 F colon 0 0.8 F. So now the scale is nice and small. So, you did see what happens if we increase the scale. 
So let's increase one to two plus pulse. It's just two times larger with the scale a little bit. So let's go back to the font and increase that to 26 to get, it's kind of a hit and miss. Now if we press down, hopefully everything should work. If we press down, it should go back to the start game. Press, keep on pressing down, it should loop between those. If we press up, start game, if we press up, exit. So that's taken care of inside of the menu screen. So let's see what happens when we press enter. Play game screen is now